Hi. The lighting here is very bad. So, the lighting here is very bad. Okay, this is where we start. We're doing a makeup tutorial. Oof, I look terrible. But um, we're doing a makeup tutorial. This is a tutorial about makeup. First thing you want to start with is your teeth. So I've gone ahead, I've gone and uh, whitened my teeth. I'm gonna take these off, okay? They're just crest white strips, you can get them at CVS. And then, um, make sure you got a, a tissue box handy. Your tissues are lovely. Can't, can't go wrong. And then, okay, oop, a little bit of drool. <laughs> then we're gonna take some, um, now I don't, this is 3D white, but we don't need that because we just whitened it, so you don't wanna overdo it. This is just to get off the residue. We'll be, we'll be more thorough with it like tonight when we, we, want, we want to go to bed. But for now, we're just getting off the residue. And listen, Mama, we're on a time crunch, okay? We're women who work. You know what You know what about a working woman? You don't think about a working woman? Guess what? She is capital B, Mama, busy. She, and, and I'm often mistaken for the other capital B, which is bitch, but honey, that's Barbara in total control of herself. Of course, the illusion of total control is another topic worth discussing. But for now, makeup. Don't forget to scrape that nasty tongue, especially after lunch, you bitch. Okay, so I've gone ahead and shaved my face. I've gone ahead and shaved my face. Which means that, um, it's not a cold sore. I've shaved once, this is for drag, I've shaved once down, in the direction of the hair, and then once up. That's the killer. Now, if you do suffer from razor bumps and all that jazz, I highly suggest 10 skin. Fuck! My makeup bag fell. So, 10 skin is amazing. Um, it is the skincare solution for unsightly razor bumps, ingrown hairs, and razor burn for men and women. And uh, it's quite expensive. I'm not sure why. And it's not available at most drugstores. So Amazon.com is your friend for that. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. The Trixie and Kachi show premieres November 15th on my slam. In the meantime... Oh, honey, one hour drag, honey. Oh, one hour drag, honey. I was dragged across the, the uh, 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 f funeral pyre for an hour. Nope, that's not good at that kind of joke. Okay, so we're going to rub. Mom, we're just going to rub. A rub and a tug. Do you love my hair bow? Thank you. Do you love my hair bow? Are you a gay? Do you love my hair bow? Answer me! Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is just reconnect with our womanhood. Uh, before you apply any makeup, uh, and this is serious, this is a serious makeup tutorial. Um, brushes. I've actually whittled it down to about like eight brushes. Okay. Get it to the efficiency of drag every day. Um, we're going to go ahead now. I just bought this. Unknown Pleasures by Kerosene. Just a little spritz to get us into the mood. Fabulous. And then, now we're gonna go with foundation, Dermablend Camo. And they ask me if I'm patriotic. Mama, I wear camouflage foundation. How's that for true American patriot? Do you support these troops, Mama? You support these troops? You wanna kneel for the flag? How about you kneel for my pussy? Um, any man that disrespects our national anthem is has a getaway, uh, has a free... <laughs> any man who dares to kneel during the national anthem gets a fucking free pass at my pussy and a punch card at, at the end of it. Honey, you pop this pussy ten times, the, the 11th is on me. Okay. Um, so what I'm looking for right now, what I'm looking for right now is my primer. I'm looking for my primer and here I found it. Next poor fella. Fills the pores, freshens the whores. She's just a, a cum-filled 
And we're back. Okay, sorry about that. So we've done the, um, I've just connected to Wi-Fi so the connection should be a lot more sustainable. Um, I also dropped a deuce in the toilet earlier that was off camera for good reason. Okay, so uh, we're done with the toothpaste. We're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna jam a whole bunch of nasty foundation onto our faces. That's the tea. So I just picked up this little thing called Kevin O'Quan or Gold Coin. I'm not sure how he had pronounced it when he was alive. The Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is an extremely expensive small product that is very emollient. And um, it's a super high coverage foundation. But I'm gonna go for my good old tried and true, which is Dermot Blend Professional Cover Cream Mama with an SPF of 30 if you're interested. This is caramel beige, this is not my color. Um, this is my color. Honey beige! So I've taken the liberty of gunking, of a, uh, I've already taken the liberty of gunking up a disgusting sponge. I don't wash my sponges because I'm not that girl. Because also the makeup residue makes it glide on really, really nicely. It also, it also um, gives you zits. I mean, it also just basically fills your pores with um, uh, germs. And it's, it's, it's bad. I mean, it's bad. You could wash, you know, washing your brushes and cleaning and replacing your sponges is a civilized activity that a woman of my grossitude just doesn't, I don't have time for all that. So, see, watch how fast I'm doing it. We're also, did I mention we're on a time crunch? We're on a time crunch. We're on a, we're on a crunch crunch. It's crunch and lunch time-wise over here. It's crunch, it is crunch o'clock. It's crunch 30. Uh, we're gonna head over to Crunch Fitness on our way to the gig. Okay, here we go. So, um, also I feel like I would, um, also under, under penalty of perjury, I would like to submit that I'm not on any illegal narcotics. It's really just for my own, for my own, uh, information. I like to repeat it to myself in the mirror. It's helpful. Um, and you'll notice that there's, um, so there's this white, right um, on this gobble area, or where a gobble would be. Uh, it's very white, and then we have red. So we're trying to smooth out that color. We're trying to like make a little bit more of a believable transition, a more aesthetically pleasing transition. And so now I've covered, I've covered the beard with the, with, um, with the Dermablend. If you are a poor, broke ass, like I, I, like I was for most of my life, what I would do is I would use, use the Dermablend, which is, $35 an ounce, mama. Get into that. That's expensive. I would use that on the problem areas, the high coverage areas, and then I would either thin it out with another found with a lesser quality foundation because you don't need the coverage on your forehead because hopefully your beard doesn't grow in on your forehead. And if it does, maybe drag is the last thing you should be thinking about. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the liquid smooth camo, and then this is what I'm going to use on my decolletage, or decollete, and um, also, ooh, this one's a little too nasty, even for my really subpar standard, so I'm going to stick with big blue. Um, and we're going to go chest, chest, chest. Now, the 10 skin, going back to the 10 skin, this is, um, this is great stuff, especially for the body areas. Um, a lot of uh, men of color swear by Ten Skin and other similar products for razor bumps, especially around the jaw. Um, I, and I, it really depends on your skin. Um, it really depends on like what's going on with your skin. But I gotta tell you, man, where I love to use Ten Skin is on the booty, bitch. If you have a, if you have sensitive, nasty white butt cheeks like me, Irish nasty inbred butt cheeks. Um, if you try to shave that, uh, your ass, mama. And three days later, talk to me. Why don't you shave your ass smooth with a Bic, a good one, Gillette, and then, and then feel your sexual fantasy, but then three, to four, three, day, three days later, I want you to call me up on the telephone and tell me what it feels like to sit down and take the SATs. When you gotta sit down for four hours and take the SATs with a, a three day ago shaved booty. Cause guess what? I'm the living dead! Sucks. And then you get a fucking pepperoni pizza butt cheek fucking bonanza when all these ingrowns unsightly butt and then you can't get that shit railed mama cause you are ashamed it's bump city it's lady bump 
it's like satin and ugh, it's just, it's awful. So the lighting in here is not super great. It's actually pretty bad. And that means that, uh, well, we're probably just not gonna do a good job. And sometimes you just have to accept that. Okay, so now that we're, um, we're gonna go in and highlight, because my face is simple, simple yet effective. And what I like to do is take this little bit of Urban Decay, this is All Nighter, Waterproof Long Wear Liquid Foundation, and I just squirt it a little bit here. And then I go in with the other side of the, uh, the dinky de doo and I just go whack, 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 whack. Just like Kimberly Kardashian had taught me in uh, videos. Kimberly Kardashian. <sighs> but why does she still contour with a K? Because, like, that would be funny. Like, if she spelled contour with a K. Like, that would be funny. Like, if she spelled contour with a K. Like, that would be, like, funny or whatever. It'd also be, like, a really, like, like a brand aware, like, like savvy marketing tool to sort of like integrate all her products into the same kind of like same kind of like linguistic group as like everything that starts with a K. Like you just start to like associate with her. Like before you know it, you're like, wait, is the kite rider was that written by Kim Kardashian? Okay. Um, I noticed we've got a little moisture in the nose. That's from sweat. I do wish to reiterate at this time that I am not under the influence of any illegal narcotics in the state of California. Just a little bit of wacky weed. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, Bob. I haven't taken any dolls today. Okay. Um, we're not gonna get too cuckoo crazy cunt chicken chicken Miss Fame with the nose contour because guess what? We're in a time crunch. Have I mentioned that it's it's crunch clock? That it's Crunch in half, then we're gonna head over to Crunch Fitness. Okay. So, I wish you could see, but you can't, so it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, looking yellow. Perfect. Yellow skin lets the body know that we mean business. Um, okay. Ready? Uh -huh. So now we're gonna go for the powder. Powder! Powder! Too high at 96, 95, hot to to. Um, oh, I've also been going to the gym. Cause, can I do a selfie in real life? Yeah, who cares? Okay. <laughs> can I do a selfie on videotape? Who are the kids take? <laughs> Powder. Um, ben Noy Fair, mixed with a little translucent extra coverage courtesy of Cody Cosmetics. Okay. Cody Powder. Mac Powder! We do the chest first. I don't know why it doesn't make any sense. Doesn't matter. We just bang, 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 bang into the room. I would like to express my condolences to Miss Ariana Grande, who was snubbed viciously in favor of Selena Gomez for some award. I forget which one. Isn't this fun? Makeup is a fun thing to do. I just love to like fucking put all this shit on my face because it makes me feel good. Like I don't need it to be anywhere deeper than that. Like I don't need it to be deeper. Like it doesn't have to be. I could do it, I just don't want it. Uh, okay, ready? Okay, so now we're, we're gonna we're gonna get say something nice, something nice. We're gonna get into. Have you ever cooked? Have you ever seen the movie Ratatouille? No. Good. Now we're gonna do something. Even though we're on the time crunch, and I don't know what time it is, I'm just gonna trust my women's intuition. I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna clean as we go. So it's worth spending a minute on that. Um, in order, if we back up, <laughs> this is general life advice, by the way. I'm 35, you can take it from me. Uh, if you, if we take a very small fraction of the amount of time to stay calm and then also to clean up our mess as we go, we save, we, mama, that, that time pays dividends. It really does. Because it, it, less stress, less clutter, less mental chaos. I haven't figured out how to do it, but once I do, I'll let you know. Okay. 
So now we're gonna use our brushes. Big fluffy brush, big, big fluffy brush. This is by Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. Who cares? We're gonna dust off. Um, and I'm gonna dust off my forehead and just that. Because I want the other powder to, I want the powder to, from here down to um, catch any fallout. Game boy. Okay, and then I'm also going to add a layer down here. You know, you all know the gig. Because what I like to do is use heavy black whore shadow. And when that um, falls, because I pack it on like an idiot, and when then it falls down, the excess, the debris, the fallout can provide, can um, really throw a wrench in your beauty system. Especially when you have white nasty skin. Super pale. Super pale, regardless of how many times you tan. Okay. So, and then we're gonna go, actually have been interested in doing just a, bri a brief contour sweep because I feel like, because I just feel like I deserve it. I feel like I want it. So what that means for me is I take this thing, I don't know what it is, it's just some kind of, some kind of, con it's some kind of bronzer. And this beautiful MAC brush, which I love, this is a good splurge. This is a good splurge because it's not cheap, but it's a good splurge. And then I just kind of go, whoop, 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 whoop kind of just lightly suggest these areas. And now Violet Chachki the other day was, um, tweeted something very helpful, which is that if you don't need to contour, you don't need to contour. I have a bony face. Look at all these angles, look at all these hollows, look at all these shadows. I mean, this is terrible lighting, but you get the drift. It's like, I have a bony face, the contour is done by lighting. So all I need to do is just the, is the suggestion for the rare opportunity where I'm in flat, full, white light so that I don't completely wash out. But for the most part, it's just, and we're on stage tonight, so it's, you know, you gotta do a little bit. So I have very aggressive boogers and a huge forest of nose hair. Yes, God! Um, the nose contour is something that continues to elude me, but we're gonna put that on hold for now. In the meantime, let's talk about cannibalism. All right, so, Boom, 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 boom. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna brush it. Cause also remember, we still need that fallout shelter. This is fallout shelter. Shelter for the fallout. It's like, um, it's like those leaves in the, those Arnold, uh, in the forest, like those booby traps that have just a bunch of leaves and it's a hole. So we're gonna, we're gonna put a lot of, a lot of leaves on there. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do, the first, so if, if you notice, I, Oh, okay. Um, I have um, half of an eyebrow. What's the deal with that? Let me tell you. I'm gonna, now, we all know, we've been new to the fact that Anastasia Beverly Hills, though not exactly from Beverly Hills, she's probably Albanian. What's with that accent? Uh, dip brow pomade, this stuff is Everything. Everything. And we're gonna take a little bit of 99% alcohol because guess what? It gets really hard and chunky and then I need it to be a little more workable. So two spritzes of that with my beautiful OCC uh, angled brush and then we're just gonna sort of wiggle and snarl and snicker and doodle into the pot. Blah, blah, blah. And it's very wet. And it's disgusting. And then I'm just gonna draw an eyebrow. So. Um, they say that the eyebrows are the awnings of the, the, the face, and that's true. And they just do that. Sorry, I guess I should show you what I'm doing. <sighs> Who's the producer of this cockamamie tutorial? It's almost like he's doing it himself. Mm -mm. So have I mentioned that we're in a time crunch? Can anybody tell me what time it is? On the, on, um, Mini I'm in Minneapolis, what time is it? Is anybody listening? Oh, God, people don't listen anymore. What time is it in Minneapolis? Are you literally all good for nothing? <laughs> 304, no it's not, bitch. 504, that's more like it. Fuck, I'm late. Okay, we gotta really shake a tail for I see, so we did one eye. That's about as good as it gets for me. Listen, I'm not a look queen. I'm a book queen. Cause shade comes from reading. <laughs> 
Whoops. Um, that actually is totally fine. It doesn't really matter. That's the whole thing about drag. At the end of the day, if you're stressed out about drag, you should probably reevaluate a lot of things in your life. Starting with relationships, money, family, friends. Okay. I get stressed out about drag, but it the drag itself is the last thing I get stressed out about. I get stressed out about not receiving enough sleep because I have the opportunity to work so much, which is great, but also a double-edged sword. I get stressed out about not having consistency in my life because of it, even though consistency um, is essential to my mental and spiritual and physical health. Um, I get stressed out about your mom's huge ass! Uh, there's so much space to explore. Where do I start? Okay. Browse literally. The next step, and this is, so I boiled down, this is a good, um, uh, have a Steve Girl Adam Tots, it's on, bitch. At the gear? No, ma, shut up. At the gear? The, the, ya gear? Um, okay. So, I'm gonna go with this paint pot, and this is a uh, soft ochre. Oh, it's so soft and so ochre. You'd have to, you'd just be hard pressed to find an ochre of this texture. It's just velvety smooth. And look at that color. Looks like a jaundiced corpse spent about a half a week in the Hudson. It's just floating along so gaily and delicately until it pops. You see all the, all the shit in its body. Fine, I'm nervous. And then, so here's. I have a three-step brow, I was, uh, sorry, a three-step, um, so in the world of eyeshadow for me, it's just very simple. I mean, we're, we're boiling it down to the simplicity. I mean, it's literally just, well, actually, this is not that simple, but it's, in terms of makeup artists these days, I use five, I use five, um, I'm going to, I'm going to switch one. I use, yes, I use four brushes for my, my eyeshadow. I have tiny eyes. Okay, tiny eyes are watching you. And then um, what I'm gonna do first is I've, I've laid down the entire um, paint pot area, smooth it out just a little bit. We can go over that brow later. And then I take a, a white-ish, not flat, not bright white, but just like a soft white uh, highlight color. Highlight color. And then I go over, I mean, it's already, it's kind of the same shade as the, um, it's kind of the same shade as the fucking, Soft ochre. And then I just fucking jam in some black. I just jam it in. Jam it in! And I need to make sure I need to check in with myself. And then all, all of you, hi. Um, and then I'm going to redo, just add another little layer of foundation to my fallout shelter just because she loves to crumble and, and wiggle and crack. And So I've jammed the fucking shit out of this black. I've just jammed it in there, right? I'm just gonna, uh, oh yeah, baby. Oh my, oh my, oh my God, that brush is packed with pigment. Oh, it's packed with pigment, oh my God. Oh, how can a little brush like that get so much pigment packed on it? Oh, whoa, yowza. even for me, but I'm just trying to give you a sense of it. Oh, it's so thick and black. Okay, then I'm gonna take dark brown, dark brown on the, um, so we got a lot of fallout there, but I think it's gonna be okay because we have a good foundation. Just brown, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna fucking buff it up real crudely, because this is the, um, the stiff brush. Now remember, this is stage makeup. This is not photo shoot makeup, so we have a lot of leeway. Especially considering the fact that when I put my fucking lashes on, my eyes are so deep set that you won't even see any of this bullshit. That's the real tea, mama. But what will you smell? My expensive parfum? That's right. That's where the real drag makes its impact. Okay, 
So then we're gonna go with a more fluffier brush. Now this was recently, this recently had an incident. This brush got some weave blue on her. I'm gonna go with a lighter color. So here's what, basically I just go, fucking, this is a dirty palette. Black, white, brum, brum, brum. Understand? You'll get to see the other eye, Charlotte. Don't worry. God damn it. God damn it. And then I'm going to go, so now I can kind of brush away the follow and do my eyeliner. Um, yeah. And we want to be careful. It's gone. It's perfect. It's gone. Beautiful. Um, ooh, God, I feel so vulnerable. Um, then I'm gonna get my, um, oh, son of a bitch! Where's my black Um, where the hell is it, Bob? I need it now. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. You're embarrassing me in front of all my fans on Instagram. Um, I'm so fucking high back. Look at this mess. She's not even a real makeup artist. She doesn't have a nice, well-organized kit. Okay. This one is gonna have to do, this is not my preferred eyeliner. This is probably shit. But, has, but guess what? In a time crunch, have I mentioned that we're in a time crunch? You just make two. And I'm just gonna jam it in there. Literally just a huge, thick line on the waterline and then well below in the corner. Get it all nice and dark. So I'm a crier. I'm very emotional. So I like to go with a, like a very Taylor Momsen kind of approach to the smoky black eye. I don't have a lot of space above my, um, my eyeball, so I just exploit the space. You know, as above, so below. I just like to exploit all of the space because it widens my eyes, I think. Also, we're a lot of bangs. So I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna set this with some more black shadow, okay? Uh, because you, well, we don't want it to get all runny because I don't know what that, this is, I'm sh surely not waterproof uh, black eyeliner, the pencil. And, um, you know, sometimes I actually don't even really like waterproof eyeliner pencil because it's, uh, Sometimes it's not super easy to work with. It's either like really smooth, but then dries quickly, or like it's not black enough. And um, I'm sure there's a million products out there that I would love. So why don't you tell me in the comments, which I won't read. And then let's see. So we're gonna also do a little bit of brown to buff out that edge. And like I said, time crunch. We don't need to be fucking OCD about this. It's like, as long as it's like you squint and it looks kind of like a girl, perfect. Moving on! If you can't catch them with the details, you can distract them with the fragrance. That's why I buy Tom Ford. Okay. Okay. Plus, I'm never one of those girls that's like, oh, well, I'm, you know, I'm just not that kind of girl. And there's nothing wrong with being that type of girl, but I don't have the patience attention span to do, to spend two and a- I Oh, man. Ugh. Okay, so I just dropped that and it landed face down on the bathroom floor of this hotel. But I'm just gonna trust in God to know that I didn't need to clean it off before I applied it to my face. Is that a pube? Okay. Uh, okay, what's the time? Time check, mama. Minneapolis, time check. Time check, please. What is the time in Minneapolis? What is the time in Minneapolis? 514, thank you, God. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, so same thing, second verse, same as the first. I'm Henry the Eighth, I am. Henry the Eighth, I am, I am. I'm just on the midnight door. She mopped his one up my blood. Oh, I'm sorry to get upset with you because I realize there's a delay, obviously. Mama, it's crunch o'clock in Minneapolis. Yes! <laughs> Again, with the, um, 
just getting that highlight in there. Look at how she glistens. Now this is a matte. Um, I, I don't believe, conventional beauty standards tell us that we don't want to highlight with um, shimmers, but you know what, the kids are breaking rules these days left and right, so don't listen to me. Uh, um, okay, we're gonna relay our foundation because some of it has shifted due to plate tectonics. And just that fallout shelter like I talked about. And there we go. Um, it's all dust, it all dust, dust away. So we're gonna jam our fucking, we're gonna jam this shit, we're gonna jam our fucking brushes in this black. Just jam it in! And then just go, go nuts. We're gonna go John Ham on your gram. Gram is your grandma. And she's 86, but she still sucks them dicks. And she loves to get that fucking dry ass pussy torched by the local football team. Tum. Mom, why does Gran insist on getting her pussy torched by the local football team? Well, Johnny, it's a complicated story. A scenario that requires more time set up than is available currently. So we're just going to have to put a pin in that and continue with the makeup tutorial. Okay. Black eyeshadow is the face's way of letting guys know that I could fuck you, I could kill you, I could handwrite you a letter, and all in the same evening. <laughs> Ugh, I think I'm getting sick. Fuck. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. Lord Jesus Christ in heaven, why you allowing so many... Okay, so many atrocities to be committed in your name. It's almost like there is no God. <sighs> really makes you think, doesn't it? No! Okay, like I said before, and like I'll, I'll say again, we're gonna take that dark brown and just kind of buff the edges. And then we're gonna go in with Big Fluffy and a lighter color to finish the job. Like, you know, this is, it's just really broad strokes. You know, this is not, this is the, this is like, if you're a street walking hoe with a place to go and you just don't know how to do your makeup, listen to me, bitch, cause I'll tell you. And as long as you have the, my same exact bone structure, <laughs> you'll be good. Nobody does. It's just a black circle. It's like, how, why is it taking me that long? Anyways, okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna put the phone down here cause I need both hands, 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 hands. All she wants is hands. And then, be careful not to see, I just did it, I knew I did it. You don't rub the, the, the debris into the, don't pat it when you try to, when you do this. Make sure there's no fallout in your shelter, otherwise it'll get glued to the floorboards. And it'll be a problem -o. Okay, so now we have no more powder. Just brush, uh, dust the rest of the face. No more powder, I look like a fucking Zombie. Um, this makes me look like I'm facially wasting from AIDS. That's okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take and so yeah. This this pencil sucks shit, but it's okay. You have to be able to learn. You have to be able to um, work with. You have to be able to improvise with shitty materials. That is literally the whole. I think that's like my whole career plan. In the material, mostly being just my human body. <laughs> How to improvise with a shitty body and fool everybody into thinking you're great. The life and times of Miss Katya's And then that's good enough. Um, okay, like I said, we're gonna set with black with the, the stiff blender. She was a stiff blender, a discreet sender, and uh, a mortgage lender. She went on a high stakes bender and lost it all. Brown, brown, brown. All she wants is brown. Oops, we're supposed to do the stiff brown. Stiff brown and soft white. Oh, sounds like a porno. And then, um, I think that's kind of like, wait, hold on. Where's the good light? Not fucking in here, bitch. Okay. 
Um, yeah, it's just like really blended out crudely. I mean, it's not crudely. Oh, I need to go over this a little bit. Um, and then um, a big fluffy brush is good if you have like a lot of space, but I just don't have a lot of space. A big fluffy brush is good if you have a lot of space. Uh, okay, so now we're uh, we're still in the time crunch. I still have to put my pads on, which is really annoying, um, just because I don't have a lot of time. It's my fault because I went out to dinner. I shouldn't eat. <sighs> okay, back to yes, God, Too Faced. Oh God, it looks like it. Oh my God. <laughs> Look. So this is a good. This is a good. Th uh, this is a great, um, oh, it's overhead lighting, of course it is. These don't, these don't look that good in real life. Thank you, bitch, 520. Thank you, 520. Thank you, 520. You guys are on the ball. Okay, so now I'm going to go, and I have another color. This is the Sugar Pill Palette. She's so fabulous. Meow. And I'm just going to use this color for, to get a little deeper into the contour because I'm looking a little ghastly. The problem with me is that I have really, when I make my skin even, one color, I either look like a tan square like a like a like a tan sheet of paper, or just a a, a a a white ghost, and I prefer the latter. But um, but I am pretty tan right now, so I gotta try to match it a little bit. And the the beauty of tonight, which is by the way, we're in Minneapolis tonight, and the beauty of tonight is that I'm doing a show with literally fourteen hundred other root girls, so someone's bound to have a little bit of contour highlight and. Bronze, I can borrow. Maybe they even have some makeup expertise that they can use to match my skin to my body. Ugh. Okay. Blah 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 blah. Now the the centerpiece the the centerpiece of my Thanksgiving dinner table face is of course the mouth. But before we do that, let's talk about Squarespace. Oh, see now it looks oh it's bad, but. So I've gone, I've taken the liberty of hiding my eyelashes because I bought expensive lashes and here's the deal about lashes. Um, so, okay. I cut them together using two different ones. I, I cut and glued them and one of them cost $10 and that's a lot for one pair of eyelashes, especially ones this small. Um, so we want to be really careful about that. You do not... Some of the ones that are layered get are really cool, and they're worth the money if you if you don't do drag that much and you, and you can kind of um, <coughs> wear, wear them again. By the way, of course, I, I'm sure you all know at this point that you can wear you can reuse eyelashes, the sturdier ones. I mean, up to five times, you just want to watch out for pink eye. Watch out for pink eye. So I'm gonna take a little bit of glue, I'm just gonna dab, dab, dab. And there's already a formidable crust from the e previous evening's festivities. Uh, decently adhered to the lash line. I'm gonna set it down, do the other one. And these are gross, these are just objectively gross. So I'm gonna peel some of this shit off. Ugh, that's disgusting. And then again, dip, dab, do. Now this exploded, this latex weave glue, not duo, not lash glue, this is weaving bond, tried and true of all Boston drags. Um, this stuff, uh, this maxi, professional maximum hair weave move, is amazing. And it also exploded in my bag the other day, which is a, is a problem for bristly stuff like brushes, but it's just latex. Like if you get a little bit on, like watch. Okay, oh my God, it seems like a mess, right? But look, no, it just peels right off. Like magic. Like magic Jonestown. Okay, so so lashes are always tricky. They're always tricky. I'm I look kinda good. <laughs> okay. Um lashes are always tricky. So the key is to get them the the key is to get the lashes the right level of tacky before you would hear them because if they're too wet, they're just gonna slip slide and leave a whole bunch of residue. If they're too dry, they're not gonna stick. So I'm gonna go do the little test, test. It's a little too wet. Um, so I'm gonna blow. And then these ones are already kind of curved to the contours of my um, eye shape, which is the benefit of reusing lashes. Sometimes they do that and that is wonderful and you can just sort of plop them on in one piece. I'm gonna try using the mirror and 
Actually, that worked. Kinda. Sorry, weird angle. Yeah, perfect. So I can see that it's on there. I just need to use a little bit of mascara and then I'm ready to go. Let's try the other one. I did that one handed, which is usually, that's pretty impressive for me actually. I'm trying. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And then I gotta look for this one. Oh yeah, right level of tacky. You'll know if it's tacky if it like, kind of, you know, if it kind of tugs. The first time you press it, you get a little squishy feeling and not just wet. They need to be squishy, not wet. Perfect. And I'm gonna go with the old tried and true um, Maybelline. Uh, is this Maybelline Great Lash? This is can't mistake. I mean, this is like a this is a drugstore beauty uh, section staple. Um, long after the nuclear fallout has uh, eliminated all life forms, there'll be cockroaches, share, and Great Lash. And then I like I said, you know. Um, the problem with reused lashes is sometimes they get a little dusty and they get um, not so black, so you just need to make them blacker. And, and these are not, like I said, again, it's like this is stage makeup. Nobody is getting underneath my fucking lashes. Um, I would have, if this was, be, if this was for video, I probably, or for photo shoot, I would have already mascared the, the top of the lash, you know, just to make, just to darken it so that the, the false lashes kind of blend a little bit more seamlessly. But this is great. This works. And then I'm going to, um, draw a big red fucking circle on, around my mouth and do some clown lips. So for me, um, I need three things to do my lips, and my lips are the most important part. I would never go out on stage. I'd rather go on stage without eyes than lips. So I have a great lip brush from, I have a great lip brush from Pout. No, it's a sugar pill. It's just a great, wonderful lip brush that stains with red. And then I've got, of course, Russian red. Um, Russian Red from MAC, which is just a very wonderful matte red. Um, I also like Ruby Woo, but I cannot wear Ruby Woo. I cannot wear Ruby Woo without a gloss. And I use the OCC lip gloss called Not Safe for Work. Cause it's a whore's gloss! Ha! Oh, and then, um, basically any old fucking, any fucking lip, I mean, it's just to suggest a shape for the, the lip. Like, I, I, I'm gonna use this, I don't even know what this is. I'm just gonna use this. So, I just suggest a, a shape, like, I can't, which, I mean, it doesn't, it would be very crude. I need to grow way big. I have this weird like mole thing here. That's my, I judge it by that. If I, I have to go right over the mole. And oftentimes it kind of gets like a little jagged and that's how I know it's good. Look, it's almost double the size. And so that's basically that. And then I just go take um, the Russian, oh shit, fuck. The Russian red, smear it all on. Color it in. Okay, whoops. Oh shit. Okay, and then step three is my gloss. Well, what is this? Oh, this is Kat Fundy. I guess I'll try it. Is she, isn't she a racist? I don't know. I don't know the drama. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's pretty. 
pretty. I like that. And also, also packaging is fabulous. That's cute as fuck. And it's also nice and thin. Um, and then I'm gonna take my lip brush and just blend it out. Or um, I sort of marry the gloss to the pencil and just carve out the shape a little more precisely. And this is always fun because it's very difficult. Because you'll see you get these crusties that, because the, it's a men's, because um, the skin is on a man, I, I've shaved and I have all these crusty pores, like it's a jagged terrain and it's very difficult. Um, so that's too, I need a darker, I need to, um, in order to add a little bit of dimension, I feel like I need to darken the lining, because I don't like it when, it, oh, here we go. Right. So this is like a, it's like a brown, it's called Club Hopper, it's weird. Okay, um, so that's actually the end of it. That's the whole face. Hold on, let me try to find a better light. Nope. Yeah, well, so thank you for joining me and um, uh, come to the show or something. Who cares? Goodbye. One more, th uh, one more thing. Care for a fucking? <laughs> Soy tu sicaria. Me pongo fina. It's a no, no me acuerdo. <laughs>